Hey everyone, my name is Travis and today we're talking about protecting your data lake with VGS on Snowflake using the VGS native app. There are multiple topics we're going to cover for this demonstration, but first we're going to talk about what is tokenization. Then we're going to get into tokenizing data in Snowflake and how we can configure the app to tokenize different columns. We're going to talk about how we can utilize those tokenized columns so that your business can still run. We're going to go over how we can allow for privileged access so that some of your users can get access to the original data, but some of your users can only get access to the tokenized versions. And finally, we're going to be going over how we can add tokenization to your data pipeline so that your business processes are not impacted when you're adding new data into your system. So first off, what is tokenization? Here I have an example of a social security number. Using VGS, we can vault that social security number and provide you back a tokenized version that, that you can store in your environment. With this token, we can ensure that only privileged users can access that original data. Without being a privileged user, you can never get the original social security number. So how does this work with Snowflake? Here I have an example of a table that would be in your Snowflake environment that has multiple columns, all with their different risk profile. So we have name, our first name, which is which we're calling level three because it's non-sensitive. So anybody can get access to this data. Next, we have social security number, which is high risk because if you if somebody got access to this data, they could steal that person's identity. And finally, we have email address which is we're, we're considering level two data because some people in your business will need access to this so that they can contact that customer or contact that user. But some but other people in this business are in your business won't need access to that information at all. So using the VGS native app, we can tokenize all of the different data in this environment. As you can see on the right side, the email column is fully tokenized and there is no reference back to the, to the email address. However, the SSN column is tokenized in a format that will preserve the last four digits. So it's, it, it still looks like an SSN, but it, and it still, has, it still has certain characteristics of an SSN, but it no longer represents that customer. So next, we'll talk about how we can utilize tokenized data. After we abstract that customer data away, how can we ensure that your business can still run and your analysts or your data scientists can still run their queries? Here, I have an example of a customer table uh, with, the, with the same information as before and an accounts table that has a list of all of the balances on that for that, for that customer. Here, you can see that the SSN is the only thing that is common between these two tables. So the data scientists or the analysts will need to use the SSN to join them. Because they've both been tokenized with the BGS native app, those same values can be used to join the table. So your business runs as usual. Now, how do we allow for privileged access so that some users can get access to that original social security number, but other users can only get access to the tokenized format? Using the BGS native app, we can configure different levels. Here I have an example of what a level one user can see. And as you can see, they can see all the different fields in the raw. So they can see name, social security number, and email address. We can also configure level two users who they can see the privileged access column because they need to be able to get access to send the emails, but they can't get access to the social security number. Finally, we have level three users who only see tokenized data. They do not need to see the, the raw data in any circumstance. Okay, finally, how do we add tokenization into your data pipeline? Let's say we have a nightly batch import process that is taking in data from your vendors. This data has social security numbers in it, and we want to, we want to import this into your Snowflake instance. So, the first thing we'll do is set up a staging table in Snowflake, and we will configure this so that only database administrators or administrators of the BGS application can get access to it. And this is where we will initially import all of the data. And then using the BGS native application, we will tokenize all of the data that, that enters into that staging table and move it over into the business table, which means 
your line of business can only ever get access to the tokenized data. All right, now let's jump into a demo and see this in action. So here we are in Snowflake, and as you can see, I've already installed the VDS Vault tokenizer application into my Snowflake account. Let's jump over into our worksheets where I have the setup data SQL script. This setup script is also available from the GitHub quick start guide for this application. And I'm going to go ahead and run the script. Of course, I need to be an account admin. So I'm going to run all of the different queries. Uh, this is going to set up my customers table that has a bunch of sensitive data in it, including SSN, driver's license, number, and email address. It also has an account summary table that has a list of all of the accounts and their corresponding the amounts in each account for this SSN. Note that the only thing that joins these two tables is the SSN. There's no there's no other ID that a, that an analyst or a or somebody from the line of business would be able to use. Here you can see all of the sensitive data that's being imported into my tables. Then we perform a bunch of grants to to ensure that the application has access to my to my data warehouse, to the database, uh, to the tables, and to the columns, uh, and uh, some grants and a few alters. Next, let's jump over into our sample queries worksheet, where we will we're going to switch over to being an analyst. Here we have configured three different roles as analyst, senior analyst, and data owner. Analysts are allowed to see, are are only allowed to see tokenized version of the data. Senior analysts are allowed to see some sensitive data. That's level two, and then finally, data owners are allowed to see all of the sensitive data. That's level one data. But let's uh let's select from customers as an analyst. As you can see, the SSN, the driver's license number, and the email address are not yet tokenized. So let's jump over into our VGS application. And here, the first screen is how to connect to the VGS cloud. All of this data is accessible through your VGS dashboard. I've already configured it for my account. Uh, let's jump over to the tokenization tab. Select our database. We're in the public schema. We want to tokenize our customers table. And we're going to select the customer identifier for the SSN column. We want to sub, we we're going to select the the account number T4 format because this is going to preserve the last four digits of the account number. We're also going to specify this as a level one data classification. And for driver's license number, this is going to be UUID, so it's going to look very obviously like a token. It will have TOK in front of it. We're also specifying this as level one. And we're going to, for email address, we will specify this as level two. And go ahead and tokenize all this data. Now you can see that it's starting the tokenization process. We can jump over to our monitoring tab. We can see that it's currently 0%, so it's just, it's just kicking off. While this is happening, I'm going to jump over to the data classification tab and walk through how I've set up these different data classes. And right here in the, in the data tiers table, we have level one, which I have described as high risk, and it only reveals to data owners. So here are all the different accounts in the system. We have data owner, senior analyst, and analyst. And level two data will reveal to a senior analyst and a data owner. And level three data will, really, will reveal to an analyst, senior analyst, and data owner. Let's, uh, let's jump back over into the monitoring tab. It, we can see it's now 100% complete. Next, let's also tokenize our, our account summary table. And we are going to pick the primary key. And for the account SSN, we're going to pick the same format as we did for the customer's table. Specify it as level one. We can tokenize. There. That tokenization process was kicked off. If we check the monitoring tab, 
we will be able to see it. Zero, zero percent is just starting out. While that's running, let's jump back over into our worksheets and we can, uh, we can see the sample queries. And let's select from the customers. Remember, I am an I'm in as an analyst right now. As you can see, the SSN driver's license number and email address are now tokenized. And if we if we select from the account summary table, this is not yet tokenized because that process is still running. So we'll give this one just a minute to to finish up. There we are. Now the the account SSN is tokenized, and so all the sensitive data is is protected. If I switch over to my data owner role, this this role is allowed to see all of the data in this table in its raw format. So now when I go ahead and I select from customers, it's going to get all that data from VGS and it's going to going to reveal it right in Snowflake. Here we have the raw SSN, driver's license number, and email address. However, if I'm if I'm in as an analyst and I only want to see, let's say I want to get the sum of the accounts, but I don't really need to see what their original social security number was. There's no reason for me to know that information. I just have to make sure that the data in the customers table and the data in the summary table is the same. So here I have a select statement that joins the customers to the account summary using SSN. And when I run this, it's going to it's going to get me the name, the tokenized version of the SSN, and the sum of all of the accounts. So we can see that Aiden Anderson has sixty five thousand dollars in there in all of their accounts. Now Alice Thompson has a total net worth of forty five thousand. Okay. So that is how we can tokenize existing data. Next, let's talk about how we can tokenize data as it's entering into your system. So here I am in my staging data SQL file. And from here, I'm going to create this new raw customers table. This is where data is going to be imported into so that it, it can then be tokenized and migrated over to the table that my, that my end business users use. And you can see that written as an account admin. I create the table. I am then going to grant my table my table access, or I'm going to grant grant my application access to this table. And then I'm going to just insert one record, simulating simulating an import in a, a, a very small batch import at the every night. We will then go over into the VGS application. Select tokenization. We're going to select staging tokenization because now we are using a staging table that will then migrate the data over into our production table. And where we'll select public. Uh, for now, I just put it into my demo database as well. Select raw customers. And as, as our target table, we're going to select a different database altogether. We're going to select the, just the, the apps admin schema, sanitize, let's select sanitize customers. So this is our destination table. We're going to say this is our primary key, and we want to tokenize the SSN with our uh, level one format preserving format and driver's license number with level one as well and email address with level two. We'll go ahead and hit tokenize. Now in the background, our this process is starting up and it's uh, all everything is getting set up. This is going to run every two minutes that this table will will pick up everything from staging and it will migrate it over to production. So let's jump back over to our worksheet and I'm just going to wait a second while this picks up. As you can see, I'll, I'll run this again, but when I select from that sanitized customers table, all of the values that have been moved into this table are now tokenized. So we have a tokenized SSN, 
driver's license number, and email address. And then we can go ahead, now that this is configured, and we can insert a new record. Here, I have Jill Barnes with a different social security number, driver's license number, and email address. I'm inserting into my raw customers table. And I'm going to play this. And then in just submit it, we will see that new record show up in our in our sanitized customers table. Okay, now that now that that batch process has completed, we can see that my new column has been has been migrated over from my staging table into my production table. And all of the values in this production table are already tokenized by the time they're revealed to my line of business. What this means is if if you're getting millions of records every night from your vendors, you can you can dump them all into a staging table, sanitize them, and then import them at the import them all at once without having a uh, without having to worry about sensitive data ever ending up in your in your tables. So that is the VGS native application on Snowflake. I hope this was useful and I'll see you later.